Hey, Energy fans, I'm Brent Skarkey with your Mass Mutual Oklahoma post game report. Two home games in a row for the Oklahoma City Energy. Are you serious? You better believe it. Oklahoma City coming off a big victory here at Taft Stadium against Orange County last Saturday. Turns right back around to take on a Portland Timbers two team tonight at Taft. These two teams, not the most prolific of scores. In fact, Portland came into this game without scoring a goal in their last three games. A homecoming for Lamar Batista, the former Heritage Hall standout, back with Timbers two on that back line for the guys from the Pacific Northwest. Cody Lorendi in goal. Cody Andrews still out with the injury. Blue kits for the energy tonight as they took on the white and green Portland Timbers. Starts off in the 14th minute and the homecoming kid in a scary moment against Alex Dixon. Alex, of course, playing so well for the energy. They both go up for the header, the collision. Both were okay. Both came back to play in this game. Skip ahead to the 16th minute. Big penetration for Omar Muhammad from Portland. Deep penetration there. The back post, then Lorendi the cover. Close call, 28th minute. Burrill, the corner to Woj. The header can't go. The kick off the post. Energy fails to score, 41st minute. Portland in the box. Lorendi, huge save. Scoreless at the break. Portland outshot Oklahoma City 5-4 at the half. 55th minute, Miguel. Dixon can't get it to go. Daniel Gonzalez back of the net. Oklahoma City takes the one nothing in lead. A play where uh, I think Miguel goes through the through the through the sideline, crosses. I think Dixon gets a touch on it and uh, a balance, and it comes back to me. I take a touch with my thigh and then just uh, put it away. 59th minute, Portland would bounce back though. On the attack, Victor Alboleta up the left side. The bender pass Lorendi ties the score at one. But 75th minute. Miguel with the cross to Mickey Daly. The header is good to go. Makes it 2-1 Oklahoma City. Uh, just went across uh, off the corner, went back, and sometimes I, I, I clear up, I step back, drop back in. Um, but that time I just stayed and just tried to find a little opening. And uh, Miguel put a great ball back in, and I found myself wide open by myself. So uh, just was able to find it, put it on frame, and uh, yeah, went in. And that's how this one would finish. Oklahoma City goes on for the 2-1 victory. They are victorious for their second straight USL home game. They have won three in a row, counting US Open Cup play. They are on a roll right now, feeling good about things. We got into them in, in, in second half. We battled hard in, in second half. Uh, that was not how we, we hoped and we thought the game would develop, but that's where we got to be quicker and sharper to, to adjust to, to, to whatever each game are, uh, are played. And uh, that took us a little bit too long time to get adjusted to that. But uh, big time credit for, for the way they, they bounced back. We were a little shaky after they scored the, tied up the game 1-1, one, one, but uh, managed the game well in, in the end. I'm proud and I'm happy and it's well deserved. It's three wins in a row now. Uh, I don't think we have to talk more about that we're in a, in a deep hole. We're on the way up now. Oh yeah, it feels great. Uh, something uh, we wanted, you know, especially at home, we can't give any, way, any points away. Uh, and it's happy, you know, we're all good, we're all happy. It's, it was massive for us. Uh, we kind of started off a little, a little rough at the beginning. Um, we got a couple wins now, and then we go back on the road with a couple more games. Um, but we should, should be able to come off with a, a couple wins on the road, hopefully, um, and try to advance an Open Cup as well. Oklahoma City, a weird and wacky schedule next. Their next game will be a U.S. Open Cup game in Colorado Springs on Wednesday, and then their next USL game, well, that'll be in Colorado Springs against the Switchbacks on Saturday, so they will stay almost an entire week in Colorado. Of course, we'll keep you up to speed with everything that's going on with your guys in green. The next home game will be June 6th. That will be against Phoenix Rising and all the big names. Bravo and all the crew will be here. We'll keep you up to speed on that one. If you want tickets, 235-KICK. Also, energyfc.com for more information. Also, season seats still available for that one with everything you need to know about your Oklahoma City energy. I'm Brett Skarkey with your Mass Mutual Oklahoma Post Game Report.